We are joined by Dr. Nora Volkov. She is the director of the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, talk to us a little bit about your upcoming lecture on drug abuse. The lecture I'm giving is actually going to be targeted on some of the main issues that we're facing in the substance use world. One of them is the abuse of opioid prescription medication for pain. And the other one is what are the consequences of the changes in policy and legalization of marijuana? How does that influence that rate of use and, and the, how that influences outcomes on mental illnesses? So I'm going to be focusing on those two subjects. And talk to us about why that is so relevant right now. It's incredibly relevant because uh, we recognize that mental illness puts you at comorbidity of very high rates of substance use disorders. So tackling it from the perspective of marijuana, we can predict that basically almost with 100% certainty that individuals that are suffering from a mental illness are or one of the ones where the legalization practices of marijuana will put them at greater risk of them using it, as has been the case and is the case, unfortunately, with other drugs and tobacco. So we need to be very alert about it and understand how the use of those drugs influences the symptomatology presentation on the patients and their ability to respond to treatments. The other one that relates to the prescription opioids is very important because it's really right now the number one cause of fatalities associated with drug overdoses, are, are, which have risen significantly. Out of, uh, in 2014, 28,000 people died from an opioid overdose, the highest it's ever been. We don't know, we, we expect that perhaps 10 or 15 percent reflect suicide, we really do not know. But we do know that regardless, individuals that have mental illness as it relates, for example, for example, with depression, may have higher prevalence of chronic pain. So the likelihood that they may get exposed to pain medications and opioids is very relevant because this is a population of very high risk. On the one half, if they are depressed, and then on the other, they have chronic pain, and you're prescribing an opioid, their risk of suicide is very high to start with. And, and opioids, therefore, can constitute some means by which they could actually, when they are desperate, um, kill themselves. So, so we need to be very, very aware. We need to survey a patient for their suicidal risk uh, when they have uh, chronic pain in general, but even more if they have chronic pain and depression. And what do you hope that the audience walks away from after hearing this lecture? I would hope that, um, that the psychiatrists that attend the lecture or other lectures that we have as part of our track this year from NIDA become aware about why it's our responsibility as psychiatrists that we do screen for substance use disorders, that we have them in our brain uh, in terms of uh, uh, treating prop for properly treating and following up our patients, but also very importantly for preventing them um, becoming addicted to, to drugs because they are particularly vulnerable. Dr. Nora Volkov, thank you very much for joining us. Best of luck in your lecture. Thanks very much.